YouTube, what's going on guys? Nick Heron here with the Fantasy Football Swagger Show. And guys, what I have for you today is my top five sleeper list at the quarterback position. Guys, these are players that I think are going a little bit too low. And, you know, sometimes we're, we're going to see, especially at the quarterback position, people reach on quarterbacks really, really high in fantasy drafts a lot of times, especially new players. And what ends up happening then is that you can get some really great value at the end of the draft, drafting a quarterback who might perform just as well or maybe even just slightly less uh, than the guys that are being drafted five, six rounds ahead of them. So th that's what we're really focused on in this video. And I'm going to give you guys, like I said, my top five. We're going to go from the highest average draft position player to the lowest average draft position player. And we're going to start off first with Tony Romo of the Dallas Cowboys. And I know what you guys are thinking. If you know me, I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. Yes. But I still think Tony Romo is being drafted too low. It's not bias. It's just a reality situation here. I mean, he's going ninth among quarterbacks, and that's just too low. Tony Romo is a guy that has performed at that level or better really his entire career. Every year that he's been a starter for the Cowboys, he's been a fantasy asset. There's no question about it. He puts up big numbers. And a lot of people always want to talk about that he throws too many interceptions. But truthfully, if you look back at his numbers over the past couple of seasons, that has not been the case. He had his best statistical season this past year as far as touchdown to interception ratio. And there's really not really much of a reason to believe that that will not continue again here in 2015. The Cowboys are expected to pass the ball more now that Marco Murray is no longer on the roster. So I think that's going to benefit Tony Romo. And I definitely think that he will finish in or above where his current average draft position is and that makes him a great value he's going way too late in fantasy drafts right now and i mean you can definitely get a great value if you take him where his average draft position is right now i mean his value is is going to be it's going to be way better than what he's currently being drafted as so let's move on then to the next guy on the list and this is one that's kind of rising up draft boards some draft boards depends on your league though some people are not aware of this, but Sam Bradford is looking real, real good right now for fantasy football value. I mean, he's going 10th among quarterbacks right now, but a week ago, he was going about 15th. So you can see the rise is definitely happening, and your league might not have caught up with that trend right now. So be sure to be somebody that's paying attention here, and you want to be somebody that drafts Sam Bradford, I think, in fantasy this year. If you're looking for a quarterback near the end of your draft, if you're somebody that missed out on the elite guys, you missed out on your Tony Romo, your Matt Ryan, um, you know, and obviously the higher guys than that. If you missed out on that tier of guys, Sam Bradford is really the guy that I'm personally targeting to be my week one starter. I think that he's got a, a real potential here to put up monster numbers. A lot of people don't realize this, but over the past three seasons, the only quarterback that has scored more fantasy points on a per game basis than Philadelphia Eagle quarterbacks is Peyton Manning. That's it. It's, I know it's kind of surprising. Guys like Mark Sanchez, Nick Foles, and, and that kind of thing are putting up monster numbers in this Philadelphia offense. And I think Sam Bradford is probably the most skilled guy that they've had there. Granted, the injury concerns are there. There's no question about it. He could very well miss the entire season after week one. Who knows? But while he's in there, I think Sam Bradford's going to put up big, big numbers. And I'm a big fan of what he could potentially do this season. Next on the list, guys, we have Eli Manning, who's currently going 13th among fantasy quarterbacks in, in average draft position. And again, just like Tony Romo, this is a guy that puts up consistently good fantasy numbers. Now, Eli Manning is a guy that throws too many interceptions. That is totally fair. If you look back at his past couple of seasons and really throughout his entire career, he's, he's just thrown too many interceptions. That is 100% true. So if you're in a league that really... It really negatively affects you with interceptions. You might want to pass on Eli Manning. But if you're in a standard league or in a league where you don't get any sort of negative effect for interceptions, I am in a couple of those leagues myself that are kind of older and traditional, I guess. Those are the type of leagues that you want to, to really focus Eli Manning in because he can put up some monster numbers this season. If you're a fan of Odell Beckham Jr. and you're a fan of Victor Cruz and Ruben Randall and the other guys in this passing game, if you think Shane Vereen's a good PPR option, you have to look at Eli Manning as being a potential top 10 quarterback or even higher than that. I mean, he's going to put up good numbers this year as far as I'm concerned. Yardage is going to be there. The touchdowns are going to be there. The interceptions are also probably going to be there. It's Eli Manning. We get it. But... What you're really looking for is fantasy points, and the passing attempts are going to be there for Eli Manning. He could very well lead the league in pass attempts this year, and if he does that, I don't see there's, that there's any way that he doesn't finish right around the top five at the position, and going 13th right now, that's great value. I mean, he's just going to do a great job for you this year, especially, if you, again, if you miss out on those elite-level quarterbacks. So moving on. 
Now we're talking about guys that are really not even being drafted in most drafts right now. We're going to go with Carson Palmer next of the Arizona Cardinals. Now, Carson Palmer obviously missed the majority of the 2014 NFL season with a couple of different injuries, a shoulder injury, then he injured his knee once again. But Carson Palmer on a per game basis last year was a fantasy monster when he was out there on the field. If you look at it, on all the games that he started and completed, he finished with multiple touchdowns in all of those games and pretty much right around or above 250 yards per game. He was actually on pace for, I, I calculated it out, if you if you go from all the games that he started and finished, the numbers that he would have had if he played all 16 games would have been 4,432 yards and 35 touchdowns this past year. I mean, granted, I'm not expecting him to put up that type of pace throughout the course of a season, but even if he fell off from that, even if he finished with 4,000 yards and only 30 touchdowns or 28 touchdowns, he's still giving you great value there for where you're drafting him. You don't even have to draft him in a lot of leagues. He's going to be on the free agency pool. I mean, that's pretty impressive for a guy that could potentially put up huge numbers here in the Arizona offense. He's got great weapons there. They're going to pass the ball a lot. The running game is still pretty questionable. So I definitely think Carson Palmer has some big potential here to give you some great fantasy value, especially in two quarterback leagues. He's somebody that I'm definitely eyeing there uh, where he's going. Next on the list, guys, and last, Tyrod Taylor of the Buffalo Bills, who recently won the job up there in Buffalo, beating out Matt Castle, beating out EJ Manuel. And guys, what we're looking at here is rushing attributes. We're looking at a guy who can run the ball for 100 yards a game. I mean, I'm not expecting, obviously, that Tyrod Taylor is going to go out there and do it, but he's a guy that has that in his possibility anyway. We've seen him do that this season This season here in the preseason. If you actually calculate out the number of snaps that he's taken throughout the preseason and you kind of extrapolate it out over you know, what would happen in a full NFL game, you really look at the possibility of him rushing for Russell Wilson type numbers. Now, I'm not expecting him to put up Russell Wilson type passing numbers, but Russell Wilson was the number three fantasy quarterback last year in most leagues, and Tyrod Taylor could potentially push for top 10 this year just based on his rushing numbers. If you consider that he, if he rushes for 50 yards a game, that's going to put him at 800 on the year. I think that's a real possibility if he plays all 16 games and stays healthy. So he really doesn't even have to put up monster passing numbers. If he puts up even pedestrian stream passing numbers he could finish in the top 10 at quarterback so in a two quarterback league I am definitely looking at Tyrod Taylor you don't necessarily draft him in a league where you're just looking at one quarterback to go into the start of the season but he's a guy that I would definitely pay attention to this year early in the season see what he looks like if he starts to put up decent passing numbers I'm talking like 250 yards and one touchdown to two touchdowns a game and he isn't throwing a ton of interceptions I think that he's a guy that I would certainly look at as being a potential sleeper here early in the season get him on your roster and at least store them away in case something happens to your starter if nothing else so there you have it guys that's my top five for sleepers at the quarterback position hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you are new next video out guys will be our top 200 for the season here as we go into our fantasy drafts this weekend Wish everybody good luck this weekend. Hopefully you guys have some great drafts. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below. And like I said, hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, also comment below if you guys have any questions or anything that I can help you out with with your fantasy team. I'd be glad to help. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you next time here on the Fantasy Football Swagger Show.